My name's Coral Messam. I was the movement director for King Lear at the Royal Exchange Theatre and I helped and encouraged the actors to find their medieval muscle. In terms of having a movement director with King Lear, it was such a massive beast in itself. It needs to have that physical element because it requires so much physical energy. It's a very, very, very physical world. The difference between a movement director and a choreographer sometimes gets a bit misconstrued. So a movement director really deals with the physical elements of the actor. To take again for force. In the actor's body and has a physical understanding of the world, of the play, where a choreographer is more someone that looks at detail in terms of routines and dance steps. There's a real significant difference between those two. The movement work that we've done with Coral is important because I think it kind of gives the whole company a language in terms of how we deal with the physical reality of the world so that there's the sense of we all belong to the same world. I think, well, how can I get actors from a 21st century world into 8th century? So we had to work bare feet. One of the first things that Coral made all our actors do was take all their trainers off. She would say, trainers make us walk in a particular way. It's a very modern way of walking. Naked fella, who Tom's the cop? And she had them take all their trainers okay, off and fella. get their feet really back on the ground. I don't feel connected to the play unless I've warmed up. The warm-up process is very important to me because it locks me into the world of the play. Was it two days since I tripped up thy heels and beat thee before the king? Hmm? Draw, you rogue. It's really important for them to understand that world and to feel it. You can't just speak it and assume. We have to understand what this feels like. What is this world and what's the social courtesy of this time? I did a lot of work in the spine. Now, looking at the women, there's a sense that I wanted them to be very erect in their spine. The name Regan, to me, felt really regal. And when our movement director, Coral, came in, I was really interested in the way that she'd move in a royal setting. I am made of that self-metal as my sister. You could really change your posture and really feel upright. Remember, she loves her body. She really loves who she is and her sensuality. Me putting my hands behind my back, I got from watching Don in rehearsals. He had a very natural physical habit that he created himself with the hands behind his back. Having grown up watching him, she sort of takes on the characteristic. So it was a conscious decision, a physical link between me and my dad. How do you make reverence to the king? So for the females, when they're made reverence, it's almost about lowering the head or lowering the eyes down. And when the men greet or make reverence to the king, they would reverence with their right knee and the right hand across the, the chest. So if the king is speaking, you'd always have the head bowed and hands behind the back. So we just try to find really clean, symbolistic shapes and images to create the world that we are entering into. Poor Tom is an example of superstition, madness. People would have feared somebody like poor Tom. We talked about this entity, this force that he can feel and see, but no one else can. Bless thee, good man, son, from the foul fiend. Coral and I worked diligently on trying to work out what that was, what that would be, what the shapes of that are, how that affects his movement when he's not being attacked by this foul fiend, and obviously sort of in the most physical bits, how to sell that. So it took us sort of a lot of detailed work to pin that down and make it as clear as possible. If the mind begins to disintegrate, it reflects in the body. And so I just let it come. I had an idea of a shape in my head and I just let it happen. If you have a kind of a language of how the characters move and how they connect with the earth and with that world, it gives you a uniform as it were. There is a sense of we all belong to this world. And that can only be accessed by having a very good movement teacher. That's Kent, a princess, bids you all adieu. He'll shape his old course in a country new. <laughs>